How you doing everybody, Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is on this Ludwig Pro Beat 24 stainless steel drum kit. Back in the 1970s, Ludwig was sort of at the forefront of making drums that were not traditional, not made of wood. Started with their Vista Light series and then went on into stainless steel, somewhere around the mid 70s. And this kit I'm sitting behind today is a great reproduction of that rocking drum kit. These drums feel great, sound great, and they're so much fun to play. So let's get to the details right now. This is a three piece shell pack and you get some great traditional rock sized drums here. Nine by 13 inch rack tom. 16 by 16 inch floor tom and a 14 by 24 inch kick drum. Now these are 1.5 millimeter hand rolled stainless steel drums. So really great construction and boy these drums just project and have a great feel to them. Now since this is a shell pack it does not include a snare drum so I've coupled it today with the Ludwig LM402 6.5 by 14 killer snare drum. Love this guy here and these drums just ooze rock and roll. They can do other styles of music for sure but Really, they traditionally just have that great rock and roll sound and feel. Now, stainless steel drums are traditionally very loud and they definitely project out to the audience, which is a fantastic thing. But I thought I'd try something a little bit different in this video today. So I'm using the Evans 56 calf tone drum heads. These are synthetic versions of old school calf skin drum heads. And they just warm up these drums just enough to give them a great round tone, but definitely keep all the loudness and the projection that's going to go out forward. So let's get into the sound of these toms right now. Again, this is a 9 by 13 inch rack tom and a 16 by 16 inch floor tom. Snare wires off first. Big, loud, and round, and great sustain, great overtones, all of those things. Now, if you wanted to go the traditional route, I would suggest using a clear two-ply head, sort of like a, a Remo Emperor, an Evans G2, an Aquarian Response 2, something like that would give these drums great clarity and attack plus the projection. But these calf tone heads, I'm really loving the sound here. So let's put the snare wires on and do the same thing. Now to the kick drum. Again, it has an Evans calf tone head on it, but it's the EMAD version of their calf tone head. And EMAD just means it's a piece of foam round that goes around the outside of the drum head. And you could take it out. There's two different sizes of that foam when you buy the head. And I've used the skinnier version just to kind of dampen up the head. So there's nothing inside the drum at all. As you can tell, there's no hole in the front head. So here we go. Kick drum, snare wires off, big and round. Big, boomy, and fat. Now let me put the snare wires on and do the same thing. Big and powerful. But now let me play all of the drums together. Snare, cymbals, everything included. Here we go. Now let's get into the hardware on this kit. Great big classic Ludwig lugs. 
The drum, the rack tom here, comes with a tom mount, but I've decided to mount the drum on a snare drum stand. Whenever I play a kit that has a big 24-inch kick drum, I just find it much more comfortable to have the rack tom mounted on a snare drum stand. But you get the rack tom mount, and if you want to put it on a regular tom mount stand or off of a cymbal stand, you can. You get the classic Ludwig retractable bass drum spurs. They go back into the kick drum when you're not using it and come back out. That's definitely old school Ludwig. The classic blue and olive Ludwig badge. Really nice. I am really liking the claw hooks on the kick drum hoops. If you could tell here, the tension rod is recessed back just a little bit from the claw itself. It gives a nice, clean, sleek look to the hoop and the kick drum. Now, let me take the head off of the rack tom so I can show you guys the inside of the shell and the edges of the drums. Okay, I've taken the head off of the drum so I can show you guys the inside of the shell and the edges here. And it's really great construction, perfectly round. Now, again, as you can tell, this is not a wood drum. You don't get the traditional 45 degree edge or the 30 degree rounded edge. It's pretty sharp, but not definitely not too sharp to where it'll damage your drum head at all. And these Evans heads with their level 360 technology sit on the drum just perfectly. So it's nice and sharp in a good way to give the drum great resonance and killer projection. I want to encourage you to check out the text below the video. There you'll have descriptions and links to all of the gear I'm using here today. All of the symbols, the hardware, the microphones, the software, and all of the gear used to make the music that I'm playing along to as well. So definitely check that out. And there you have it everybody, the Ludwig Pro Beat 24 stainless steel drum kit. Killer rock and roll drums. And I forgot to mention earlier in the video that there's two versions of this kit. The brushed version of the stainless steel and there's also a polished version. So whichever one you like, you can't go wrong and you will rock out and have so much fun with these drums. If you want any more information about these drums or any other Ludwig product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks a lot for watching.